My name is Barton Mills and I was born in Paris, Texas in 1970 and was born and raised in Paris until I was 18 and uh, entered the jewelry school and then got a job and entered the jewelry trade. I've lived in Texas, Alabama, Idaho, and Oregon. And I've worked at jewelry stores in Alabama, Idaho, and Portland, Oregon. I worked for Jimmy Smith Jewelers in Decatur, Alabama, president of the, Deca of the Jewelers, Alabama, president of the Alabama Jewelers Association, and um, member of American Gem Society for five years as his number one diamond setter and jeweler. Then I was recruited by a company in Boise, Idaho, Lee Reed Jewelers, and a good friend of mine, Kelly Johnson, that also graduated from the same jewelry school as I did, brought me out west, which is where I always wanted to be, and uh, started making some what I considered more fun custom jewelry pieces for people. Then um, worked there for five years and moved to Portland, Oregon, and. Um, have worked for a few jewelers in Portland and now I own my own business in Portland for about six years now. As a young person I was very imaginative, had a great imagination and um, very theatrically inclined and um, spent, a, spent a lot of my time not so much in the visual arts realm but um, Looking back, you can definitely tell that I was always creating something. <laughs> the first piece of jewelry that I designed 20, 21 years later was horrible to me. <laughs> and, but it was in jewelry school and of course it was for a significant other in my life. I uh, found that with a good muse, an artist can produce things that they normally would. And it was a large um, amethyst oval with small diamonds going around it. I actually carved the wax, did the casting, set the stones, reset the stones, and, <laughs> and delivered it. And I hope that the young lady still has it, but I would not doubt if she did not. Some of my most memorable matured designs being designs that I've made since I felt a mastery of my craft would be one that I'm really proud of was a um, auction item for the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation and it was a pair of matched elk ivories that I did with a 22 karat overlay made them exact front and back with a platinum um, strip of platinum with some gun engraving lines and some bead set diamonds in it. This was given by me to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation as a donation piece to help with their conservation efforts to save elk and to provide more habitat for elk and any other animals that would occur naturally. Um, the neatest thing to me, the part about this piece that I liked the most, that I felt innovative about it was the pendant bale that held it was attached to what you would call, imagine a U-joint where it went inside. Like I said, there were two match pieces of elk ivory. Therefore, the pendant had no front or back. It was created in the round. I find most pendants are face forward with a back. And I really like to do things that are interesting from all angles and that allows you to see all angles. Along those same lines, when my wife became pregnant with our daughter, I wanted to make a birthing egg to symbolize her commitment and their, our, our family's relationship. So I made an egg, much like a Fabergé egg if you'll imagine, pave covered in diamonds, pink diamonds on pink gold, had the egg made in two halves. Inside the, I placed a piece of, a strip of platinum with my name, my wife's name, and our to be born daughter's name inside the egg, welded it together, pavated in diamonds, and you could hear it inside rattling. My wife still asks, how does she know for sure it's in there? And I say, you just have to trust your jeweler. But it also is made in the round with the U-joint, which is what I call it, 
that allows it to go in and the egg to actually rotate around the pendant bale, giving no front or back or side to the piece again in the round. I find it to be a very interesting way to do things that I don't see a lot of people do.